Canadian Hats to the U Stamp Team. We are so excited to have you join us and we hope that you're looking forward to the 12 stamped projects of Christmas. I'm letting you know now that we're not going to have a schedule for this round of U Stamp because you need to check back every day. We've got all kinds of projects, videos, and neat activities for you to be doing so over the next three to four weeks we're encouraging you to visit the site each and every day to see what's new and exciting on our site. I want to give you a little heads up on tomorrow's project. Um, it's just so much more exciting to see live in action, so I'm going to show it to you and know that you need to check back tomorrow for project number one on our movable scrapbook. So this is Emma's wish book for this upcoming holiday, and she's going to journal in here her wishes for each of the special family members that she picked to wish about. So the book is like this, and then we have this little tab here, and as you pull the tab, the pages are going to flip on their own and you can see it's a fun way to create a scrapbook so make sure you check back tomorrow to see this PDF and project to get going today as a Canadian Thanksgiving actually Emma and I are going to show you a really quick craft that she learned at brownies on using punches to make some cute little turkeys so the two of us are going to show you this project to start with, we just have a three and three quarter inch by eight and a half inch piece of old olive cardstock. I scored it at two and a half inches and seven inches. And then we just stamped the Inspired by Nature grass on the old olive cardstock. We're just going to seal this shut. And this is going to be the background or the base to our project for our little turkey and our little treat for inside. To start with, as Emma's showing you here, we need to use our scallop punch and the very first fold you're going to make is using the five scallops. So count out five scallops and I've drawn a black line here so you can see. And as Emma's done, we're going to score it on that line, so just by folding it. And this is going to start to make our feathers. We're then going to fold the scallop in half. So when I fold it in half, I'm folding it so you can see these scallops here. I then flip over the scallop and I'm going to fold my corner bottom edge to that center line. And you can see that we've made some little gathered feathers for our turkey. You won't draw that black line on and you can see Emma's there. So this is how we're going to make one of those in summer sun, one and only orange and one in real red. After we've done that, we're going to start by putting our turkey body together. So we've punched a 1 and 3 eighths close to cocoa circle, and we've used the little flowers from the three flower punch uh, just to make our little turkey feet. So Emma's just sticking our turkey feet on. Good job. Get up and see. Good job. So stick your other one on. Perfect. And once the feet are on, We've got a little body with a couple of feet poked out. And what we're going to do is then glue that directly on our pouch. So we have that on our pouch and we're ready to attach our feathers. And so we've done a couple of them here for you. We've got our orange and our red and Emma's just going to stick our summer sun feathers onto that pouch. And you can see that the turkey body is really starting to come together. And now for the head, what we used is a one inch close to cocoa circle. And then we used the little horizontal slot punch with real red to make the little, oh my goodness, dangly thing on the turkey. I don't know what it's called, do you Emma? <laughs> so we've got our turkey head. And then we also added, do you want to show your head Emma? We cut out a little beak using summer sun and crystal effects two little googly eyes. And now on the back, Emma, show them the back we stuck a pop dot glue dot, so not just the little ones, the pop-up glue dots. And Emma's now going to stick the head on that package. Perfect. And hold it up to show everybody. And now we just added a little tag that says Happy Thanksgiving. And we've crimped the bottom here. And it's all set for us to put in a little treat and set on the table tonight for our Thanksgiving dinner with our family. 
So thank you Emma and her brownies for showing us that. And we are so looking forward to a great round of you stamp with you. Thanks for joining us. Bye now.